Okay, so today what we have here, we have a, a timer. This is for your refrigerator. And this timer is an analog timer. Or is in there's a clock inside here. Some timers have a different um, time span. Some have a time span of 6 hours, some have a time span of 10 hours to run before it starts to defrost. Um, I think they run the compressor for like 10 hours and then they change over from the compressor to defrost. And when it changes over to defrost, then it changes over to defrost for about 20 minutes. And then you will go back to compressor to keep your items in your fridge cool. This is what control with setting the pins are on, whether it's on compressor or it's on defrost. So this little dial, if you ever to go behind your fridge and you were to use a key or a flat screwdriver and you turn this, you would hear this click and you hear it click, click, click. And then that's one turn and then you click you go around again that's another click and then when you reach there's an arrow at the top here i'm not sure if you can see the arrow there's an arrow at the top here once you reach to the arrow again on a second turn you should hear a click you could look carefully you hear a click that click is to let you know it changes over whether it's on compressor or defrost that would let you know that it changes over from common to compressor to common to defrost and that would change the operation of the fridge i will do a little demonstration showing how it works so like i said um this one is this pin it is for your motor this pin probably for your compressor this pin is probably your common and this one is for your defrost so in order to determine if your pins are functioning correctly all you have to do is um you go to check if the timer is working correctly let me rephrase that you go between your middle pin which is your common and you go between this one and you see we have continuity now to check the other one both pins should not be energized at the same time so when i check the other one that one should be open which is fine and then this one should be closed which is fine um now to determine if your timer is malfunctioning this timer is malfunctioning and i'll show you why it is mal why it is malfunctioning remember i told you with the common probably defrost and this one is probably your compressor once i spin this another revolution And I come around again and you hear that click and I go and I test the pins remember these two you remember these two was gave us continuity so if I go back on these two and these two are still in the same state then it means that my timer is malfunctioning and it needs to be replaced you see so if this one was compressor then you mean the compressor would stay running 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 all the time and there would be there would be no cutting out and then your i think it's your evaporator would be would get um, frozen and then you would have to manually open that and have your evaporator um, defrosted so that is how this um timer works i hope this helps and see you guys in another video